Hello everyone, today I'm going to be cutting Zeiss DoorVision Blue Protect lenses for Brandon, Brandon's Ray-Ban 8905. Now he lives in Wallkill, New York, and I want to give a special thank you to April, his wife, and I'll explain why in just a moment, but first, this is FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. I am the hardest working optician in the industry. My name is Seymour Better, but call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm happy seeing Mo Better looking Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Now, I'm going to go from start to finish on how to make glasses for Brandon and I'd doing a video for him he paid 35 dollars for a video and he was telling me that his wife april was teasing him about that april i think you'll understand the reason why i charge now and i've gone up a little bit in price as i am the hardest working person i have to come in about an hour early or stay an hour late that takes toll on my wife my family and so that's why i'm charging now if i did all of these for free um, i would never see my family so what you're paying for is uh, something special I can do for my wife a dinner or something else that she would like to do time for her at the spa or something else because of the time that it takes for me to be away from the woman I love now I'm saying all that because tomorrow morning at 4 30 a.m. a more Friday Memorial Day weekend I'm gonna be sitting in the airport waiting to fly off to Maine so I've worked about seven days a week for the last few months mostly mostly and I'm gonna give her a four days of just us time hiking in Acadia National Park and so that's it April I hope you can appreciate that Brandon certainly appreciates you and let's go ahead and begin I'm going to take your frame out of the original packaging that Ray-Ban sends it to me this is again the Ray-Ban 8905 size 55 color 5843 which is don't take my word for it let me show you of course it's one of the carbon fiber cases or frames because it's got the carbon fiber case it's got the same carbon fiber pattern in the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth versus the silvery gray that normally do. And of course, it, well, it comes with a plastic sleeve on the temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. But again, these are the carbon fiber temples. Plastic front carbon fiber temples, extremely lightweight, but yet extremely strong. They come with a little rubber grip pattern on each end, so it grips your head really well. If these need to be loosened more, you can pop the lens out at your local optical shop and apply a little bit of heat. Right here, you can bend it outward. Same thing if these are loose, you can heat this up, bend it inward to tighten it up. Carbon fiber, because it is so strong, cannot be bent down behind the ear, so it has some built-in wrap so that it stays on the head along with the rubber grips that are there. So let me pop out the original demo lenses. Now this frame comes in Oh, I can't remember how many sizes. I think two, and it comes in several colors. How about if I put a link in the website description in the description of the video so you can go to the website and check it out now. I'm going to sign him a barcode number. This is he is going to be secret agent 3907. So years from now, should he ever need new lenses, I could send him right to his home. It'll be programmed into my database. I'm going to hit the start button. The little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. Again, you buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account, you can get reimbursed from this purchase. Now, I do not accept any insurances, but I can provide to you upon request an itemized receipt that you can file for reimbursement with your insurance company and they will send you a check to your home and if you have a mobile banking app you can deposit the check from the convenience of your couch now the health same for the health savings account you'll get the full reimbursement from them when you submit the receipt so that is the shape that i'll be cutting i'm going to move on to the next screen I need to enter the pupillary distance his total is 67 divided by 2 is 33.5 the computer starts at 32.5 so i'm going to tap the plus button a couple times to get it there i want to raise the optical center up two millimeters to 23 let me mark that there actually let's go 2.5 we're gonna make that 23.5 just because this is a little bit deeper of a plastic frame i'm gonna go up another half millimeter um okay so now i need to get your lenses prep your right eye reads minus 150 minus 175 at 14 i'm going to start by turning the axis wheel to 14 
what I should have started by doing is turning this on. There's a light on the inside so I can see what I'm doing. Minus 150, minus 175 at 14. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Make sure everything's on zero. Yep. Put the power drum on minus 150. Put the lens in, rotate until the spherical component comes into view first. Just making sure I'm working with the top half of the lens, but on this size frame it may not matter. What I first do is find the spherical component, the minus 150. I check the astigmatism correction, and we are good there. I'm going to put three dots on the lenses. Then I'm going to label this one Aura. <laughs> for right to, and I always like to everyone gets all the original packaging as a sent to me including the packages from Zeiss this says single vision 1.59 which means the refractive index of polycarbon I'm going to highlight the prescription this is the right lens the little small yellow line BP stands for blue protect and his prescription now let's do the same thing for the left I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 179. Put the power drum on minus one, one diopter. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Put it in, rotate until the spherical component, the minus one comes into view first. Check the astigmatism correction. I'm going to explain what all that means a little bit later. It means you need glasses. It means you squint. Brandon, why you be squinting all the time? And we're going to label this one L, which is Latin for not right. <laughs> and let me go ahead and highlight his packet here. Blue Protect, minus 1, minus 275 at 179. And anytime someone's astigmatism is over 2.5 diopters, I always like to say, you got crazy stigs. Now again, these Zeiss lenses have sunglass level UV protection in a clear lens. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, I know it's a bad joke, but I got to work it into every video. So, this is a block I've already had. Let's go from the beginning. This is a naked block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I've got two double-sided adhesive stickers here. I'm going to stick this one onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. By the way, this is what happens when you try to give a cat a pill in the morning. That's what I did. And, uh, yeah... It actually got me underneath the fingernail. It happened so fast. No, this one. I was bleeding this morning. We got done. My wife and I got done. She was holding the cat while I gave her the pill. And all of a sudden, blood starts pouring down out of my hand. I was like, hey, that's a neat trick. Um, pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice today. The first time, it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck of the arm. And the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. The blue crosses the geometric center of your frame. Brandon's eye is just above that in inset. So just like the crosshairs of a scope, I measure vertically and horizontally. So I've got the optical centers dead center in front of his eyes. I always get quiet in this point when I concentrate. I always like to make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block on two the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with because I ain't right neither. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up that silver button there. Same pupillary distance, same optical center height, same bat channel for those of you all old enough to remember the original Batman TV series. Make sure I was making sure the lens is large enough. That's my thumb. Hello, thumb. My index finger. Hi, guys. <laughs> Magnify it again so I'll make sure I've got it where it's supposed to be. I need to start doing some finger puppets in some of the videos. I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block on two, the left lens. So this was the tracer. This is the blocker. This is what's known as the edger. It's going to edge your lenses down from this size to this size. It's going to do that on this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material till it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens. So it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. It is job, essentially when I say wake it up, I'm going to transfer the data from here to here. Again, job ID number 3907. 
3907, or as I like to say, installment 3907 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic or Trivex, I would select that, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. And so now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Did I mention free bad jokes with the every pair of glasses made? Hello, is this on? So, I'm going to hit the green start button. A dirty door will close, almost certainly getting a response from Secret Agent 2840. I know, I need to clean it. But anyway, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, tracing the shape of the right lens on the first go-round. Second go-round, it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, which will be, be minimal, if any, on the left lens. I doubt there'll be any on the right, but his left lens is stronger in overall power. So water is flickering in the background. That's there to catch the optical sawdust that comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water splashes onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, it do have water spraying onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto Brandon's lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form. The reason why I like polycarbonate, it is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. It is virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact, ballistics-grade lenses. It is the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris. Speaking of protection, it has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Speaking of protection, Brandon got the Zeiss Blue Protect Anti-Glare that's specifically designed to reduce the harmful glare, the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and of course the number one source of blue light on the planet. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? The sun. The giant fiery orb in the sky that gives life to all of us. <laughs> so, it's now just doing its own check and balance system after the cutting cycle. It's reinforcing where to place the bevel. And now it's going to drop down onto the bevel wheel to get the knife-like bevel. A very dull knife like myself, but a knife-like edge. For the sake of argument. Now, his lenses are going to be so sharp that he might be able to cut through a piece of wet tissue, providing that he soaks the tissue in a bucket of water overnight and then take his lens, press down with all his might, he might be able to cut through the tissue with that. That's how sharp a bevel is putting on there. So I joke around in a lot of my videos, but I do want to get serious for just a moment just because I'm pausing to reflect on the vacation I have coming up. You know, it is nice building a dream when I started doing this back in about 2014, 2015, doing videos for people, bringing my lab to them. I never knew the success that, that would come from it. I'm literally the one-armed paper hanger, so now the a safety belt was coming, a little lever with a very fine grinding wheel. It's going to smooth out the back surface of the lens. But I encourage everyone to find the perfect work-life balance. It is so hard in today's ever-changing landscape, not to mention COVID, but post-COVID, pre-COVID, it wasn't easy. During COVID, it made it that much harder. Post-COVID, we're still trying to find our place as we jumpstart our economy all over the planet but just remember why you work to begin with it's to spend time and provide for your family and a lot of times hopefully you get to a point where you don't have to worry as much about the financial things and just give back your time that is the single most valuable thing that you can give anyone 
currencies are going to come and go. What's popular is going to come and go, but the time you spend with your loved ones, that you can never get back. So, the old Eagle song, you spend all your time making money, and then you spend all your money making time, and that's what I'm going to do. So, when I come back, I'm hiring some staff. Hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, they're going to show up. I hired somebody once. They never showed up. They never called. I hired someone else. They're going to start June 8th. I'm going to start, uh, so I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Press down, going around. That snaps right in. I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or today I'm calling it the April. Hit the green start button just like before the door closes. The clamp shuts. A slightly cleaner door after the bath it got. It's going to be traced by the two white styluses again. Making sure it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see this is going around tracing the shape of the lens. And just like before, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which, Brandon, you got none. You got nothing there. You got no edge thickness. That is a cool carbon fiber pattern. I don't know if my camera's picking that up in the light, but I like the way it reflects. So we all have a birth year on our tombstone. We all have a death year. They're separated by a dash. What are you going to do with your dash? That's what I keep asking myself. What is your why? Why do you get out of bed? Why do you work so hard? What's it all about? If anyone knows the answer to life, write it down on a $100 bill and mail it to me. I will read it on the air and give you credit. You don't even have to include your name. I'll recognize your handwriting and I'll give you credit on the air. So I'm going to put it in just above that dot. I turn the axis wheel back to 14. I'm going to read the... All right, are we on? Sorry, we had some technical problems there. My battery died. I had to get a backup battery. But I'm going to read the power. I'm beginning what's known as final inspection. And I'm getting minus 150 exactly halfway between 1 and 2. That's exactly where you're going to find 1.5. And that's because the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter. It's spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. starts at 0 and goes up in quarter increments from there. 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, 1 and a quarter, 150. So... Brandon is on the sixth rung of a ladder where this glass is off. He can see up close great, but as it moves away, he needs six steps of far-sighted correction. Now, once the image is the correct size, he needs another one and three quarters diopters of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights, or the letters P and F. So this is the fine. This magnifies, or in Brandon's case, minifies. This clears up the fuzzy edges. It's the fine tune knob, and we turn that fine tune knob to 14. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. And we're going to, so he has six steps this way, another one and three quarter steps steeper this way, 90 degrees away. Don't look at the cat scratch. <laughs> 90 degrees away, and it's how we line the two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. And we do that at 14. And let's check that. And we end up at. Minus three and a quarter going away from three towards four. We're on the first tick mark. Remember high school math, you add two like signs together? Yeah, nobody does. Let's use today's terms. You let somebody borrow a dollar fifty and then another dollar seventy-five, they would owe you three dollars and twenty-five cents. That's where we're at three and a quarter in the red. Now left eye, he only needs four steps of far sided correction, but here's where his crazy stigs kick in. Almost a full three diopters, two seventy-five. So let's come down here, see if the left lens is large enough, or the right size. If not, I'll have to take it down smaller. Get all the last of the optical sawdust like that. It didn't get washed away. So what I do is I run my thumbnail around the edge of the lens to get all the last of the schwarf, which is optical sawdust. May the schwarf be with you. And then once I've got it all off the lens, I collect it neatly into one pile on the counter, and then I wipe it on the floor just to drive my wife crazy. Don't tell her I did that. <laughs> Let me just rub that into the carpet real fast. Okay, nobody will know. Shh, this is our little secret. So, I'm gonna, I have the side I'm working on closest to me. I tuck it in at the outside corner, press down with my thumbs, it snaps right in. We're gonna take the block off, dry that off, add to my sticker collection. All right, where should it go? Where should, here. Okay, so, I'm glad someone shouted that out quick. I think it was me. All right, so I'm going to turn the fine tune knob to 179, put it in over the black dot, read the power, and I'm getting minus one. Now he has 
2.75 diopters of astigmatism correction and when we check that if all goes well we should be at minus 375 look at that one tick mark away from four so that is made correctly the last couple steps of final inspection I need to measure the horizontal width of the crosshairs of the scope and the vertical so we're gonna have 67 and 23.5 I'm gonna turn the card around so you can see the black dots place my PD stick against my thumb on the right lens and when we measure on the left lens we're getting 67 millimeters so that is cut perfectly now to measure the 23.5 we're not looking at the bottom of the lens because that actually goes halfway into the frame so we're going to measure the deepest part of the frame and we're getting 23.5 23.5 man the kid is good so this is the point in every video that as i clean your lenses i mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the u.s but when you get these in the in the mail brand and I, sorry my tongue wasn't working this morning when you get these in the mail there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and i forget the percentage one ear closer in than the other but because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them so just stop by your local place, tell them if it's too loose or too tight. It only takes about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe a little bit longer because you're going to need to pop out. And Brandon, you can tell them these are unbreakable polycarbonate lenses. If it is too loose or too tight, they'll need to pop out the lenses, apply some heat, and either push inward to tighten it or pull outward to loosen it. And again, it's got the built-in bow and these rubber grips, and that's only if it if it doesn't feel comfortable but these are so lightweight the built-in wrap the rubber grips it should be fine right out of the box but not everyone's head is the same but again let's get this in standard alignment being a three-point stance the so three points are one two in the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble now when i say wobble i'm part of that 80 percent when i take mine off and press down they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me and again for those of you keeping score at home i'm still wearing the philippians 413 from Christian eyewear that Bible passage is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing but if you want to see more of the Christian eyewear go to Christian eyewear.com and click on Philippians you'll see all four sizes all three colors that it comes in and yes I designed those press down there is no wobble on the counter close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do so I'm going to send out a selfie request. Brandon, I would love to have your picture on the website. April, I would love to be you be behind him photobombing him <laughs> while he's doing his selfie. That would be awesome. I wish I had more couples on the, on the website, but that's why I'm hollering out to you. I also send out cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but also for the Zeiss cleaning cloth, the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, the premium microfiber cloth that I provide as well as instructions on how to care for your case so those two will last you for years no other seller does on the internet I am told but that is it Brandon thank you so much for your purchase April thank you so much for supporting Brandon so when you look into his eyes you're gonna see you know the beauty of your relationship and a part of my wife and I's and and Brandon's I'm getting corny today but it's just, you know, it helps me remember, you know, what truly is important in life. And so I'm going to do my best when I hire the new staff to spend a little bit more time with the family. Try and uh, get out of work a little bit earlier in the evening. Not stay in work till 9 or 10 on a lot of nights. Not have to come in on, <laughs> on the weekends. But after at this many years and this stage in my career, I want to pass the torch off to some younger folks. I'm actually paying for college for them to learn how to go to optician reschool. And you're going to start seeing more and more videos in different languages because I want them to have a skill set that I don't have and just help spread the knowledge across this planet on the mystique of making glasses and why no one ever shows you how to do it because most optical shops don't cut their own lenses anymore. It's just like going to a restaurant, you placing your order and them telling you to come back in two weeks. What, you don't cut them here? <laughs> I mean, you don't cook the meals here? No, we send out to another state to have your meals made and then we call you in a couple weeks when it comes in. So that's why I wanted to show everyone the process of making glasses. And so again, Brandon in Wallkill, New York, thank you so much for the purchase of the 8905 with the carbon fiber temples. You have your Zeiss DuraVision Blue Protect Anti-Glare. I'll have a link in the description below for the frame and the lens options. And now, hopefully, everyone's got a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to life. And again, 
I'm going to remind everyone because the, the camera cut off, the battery died, but work on your dash. Find out how you can not just improve your life, but improve the lives of others. And that will, in, in, in its course, make your life better. Thank you again for watching. Let me know if I can be of any further assistance.